Good morning, my dear students in grade 7. How are you today? I hope you are fine. The school vision, to prepare creative, well-educated students who are able to establish civilized, aware, reserved society, stick to the authentic morals and values, in addition to using the modern technology. The value is affiliation and loyalty. Our lesson today is module 1, 1 E, vocab and speaking. Describing people. Let's watch this video. Brave. Felix is brave. Curious. Smith is curious. Patient. Susie is patient. Friendly. Alice is friendly. Talkative. Moon Moon is talkative. Hard working. Felix is hard working. Lazy. Brian is lazy. Shy. Mimi is shy. Brave. Curious. Friendly. Shy. Talkative. Patient. Hard working. Lazy. Felix is brave. Smith is curious. Susie is patient. Alice is friendly. Moon Moon is talkative. Felix is hardworking. Brian is lazy. Mimi is shy. Brave. Brave. Curious. Curious. Shy. Shy. Lazy. Lazy. Patient. Patient. Friendly. Friendly. Now, 
Let's describe our friends. What does your friend look like? What is he like? Module 1 about me. Students book page 18. Objectives of our lesson today. Number 1. Identify new vocab throughout pictures. Let's look at these anxious, naughty, stubborn, impatient, sensitive, intelligent, nice, nervous, polite, polite, messy, messy, tidy, tidy, friendly, friendly, rude, rude, shy, shy, outgoing, unfriendly, unfriendly. Now let's read them again. Polite, polite, messy, messy, tidy, tidy, friendly, rude, shy, outgoing, unfriendly. Look at this picture. What is the word? Perfect. Polite. Polite means that this person has good manners. He deals with people in good manners. Oh, look at this room. What a mess. It's messy. It needs to be tidied. It's messy. Everything is on the floor. Messy. Now look. Wow. It's tidy. It's tidy. Tidy. Neat and elegant. Look at this picture. Friendly, friendly, rude, rude. Rude means impolite. It is the opposite of polite. Look at the boy. He's shouting loudly. He's rude, rude. Now, shy, shy, unfriendly, it is opposite of friendly, outgoing, outgoing, it means that sociable. Now, open your student's book page. 18 and 19. Complete six missing gaps with adjective adjectives from the box. One E. One. Vocabulary. A. Look at the pictures and complete the description with the words in the box. Then listen and check your answers. This is Ned. He's tall and slim, and he's got wavy, fair hair. Ned's got two sisters, Stacy and Amy. Stacy is also tall and slim. She's a good-looking girl. She's got long, curly, dark hair. Amy is a year old. She's a bit chubby. Her hair is medium length. It isn't long or short. Now, let's read the words again, which are in the box. Look, let's read together. Long, long, chubby, chubby, dark, tall, slim, fair. Now listen again and complete. Fill in the gaps. 1E. 
One. Vocabulary. A. Look at the pictures and complete the description with the words in the box. Then listen and check your answers. This is Ned. He's tall and slim and he's got wavy fair hair. Ned's got two sisters, Stacy and Amy. Stacy is also tall and slim. She's a good-looking girl. She's got long, curly, dark hair. Amy is a year old. She's a bit chubby. Her hair is medium length. It isn't long or short. Now, please pause the video, fill in the gaps, and then come back to check your answers. This is Ned. He is tall and slim. He's got wavy. What is the word here? Excellent. Fair hair. He's got wavy fair hair. Ned's got two sisters, Stacy and Amy. Stacy is also t tall and slim. Perfect. She's a good-looking girl. She's got long, curly, dark hair. Amy is a year old. She's a bit chubby. Perfect. Chubby is the opposite of slim. Chubby, chubby is the opposite of slim. Chubby means fat. Her hair is medium length. It isn't long or short. We use the adjective long with hair. It isn't long or short. Please, if you have any mistakes, correct them. 1E Now, who's your best friend? Look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. Number one, polite. Polite. He's polite because he helps the old man. Look at number two. Oh, number two is the opposite of number one. So what is the word? Now, picture three, messy. Messy. Number four, number four is the opposite of number three. Now look at number five and number six. Number five is the opposite of number six. Number six, outgoing, outgoing. Number seven, look at number seven and the number eight. Number eight, unfriendly. So. What is opposite of friendly? Can you get the word? Try to think. Look at the pictures carefully and then write the opposite. Listen and write. B. Label the pictures with the words in the box. Then listen and check your answers. 1. Polite. 2. Rude. 3. Messy. Four. Tidy. Five. Shy. Six. Outgoing. Seven. Friendly. Eight. Unfriendly. Please pause the video and write your answers. Number one, polite. Number two, rude. Number three, messy. Number four, tidy. Number five, shy. Number six, outgoing. Number seven, friendly and number eight unfriendly.
Now let's listen again. B. Label the pictures with the words in the box. Then listen and check your answers. 1. Polite 2. Rude 3. Messy 4. Tidy 5. Shy 6. Outgoing 7. Friendly 8. Unfriendly B. Now, one is speaking. Read the phrases in the tables and repeat them. Asking about one's appearance. Asking about one's appearance. What does he, she look like? What does he or she look like? How can we describe the appearance of anybody? Describing one's appearance. He is tall. He is tall and slim. He is tall and slim. He is very good looking. He is very look good looking. She's got green eyes and medium length straight dark hair. She's got green eyes and medium length straight dark hair. Here is how we can describe the appearance of anybody. Let's again. What is the question? What does he look like? What does he or she look like? This question means we need to describe one's appearance. He is tall and slim. He is tall and slim. He is very good looking. She's got green eyes and medium length straight dark hair. Asking about one's personality. Asking about one's personality. What is he like? What is he or she like? This mean this question means that we we need to describe one's personality. He's very outgoing. She's a bit shy, but she's a nice girl. So here how we can describe one's personality. There is a difference between the appearance and the and personality. Appearance, how she or he look like. And the personality, how is he or she like. What is he or she like? What is he or she like? And what does he or she look like? What does he or she look like to describe the appearance? But to describe the personality, we say what is he or she like. When we talk about the personality, we can say we can use some adjectives like outgoing, patient, polite, shy, tidy, messy. If you wanted to describe the appearance, you will use the adjectives long, long hair tall, slim, short, choppy. Asking about one's likes and dislikes. What does he like doing? What does he like doing? Talking about one's likes. He likes sports, TV programs. He loves, enjoys watching sports. She's a big fan of. She's crazy about. She's really into. This means that she likes. Again, when I say she's a big fan of or she's crazy about or she's really into, it means that she likes. He likes sports programs very much or a lot. He loves, enjoys watching sports programs. She's a big fan of, she's a big fan of game shows. 
she's crazy about game shows or she's really into game shows this means that she likes she's a big fan of she's crazy about she's really into this means she's she she or he likes so you have to differentiate between what does she look like and what is she like what does she look like we are going to describe the physical appearance she's tall she's chubby she's short she's very good looking and when you talk about the personality so you are going to talk about the traits so what is he like what is she like it means she's a bit shy she's a nice girl she's friendly she's outgoing and so on and now here we want to using the learned adjectives write three sentences describing your best friend do it as assignment at home write write the, the three sentences in your note box and tomorrow i'll check them inshallah thank you for listening and goodbye study hard okay thank you